Hello everyone, Sons and Duck welcome to another website sort of related video. Uh, so yeah, this is on Viber MC, a website specifically for listing mods, so it makes it easier to find them. Um, I've already made a FTB wiki page on it as well, so pretty much makes it easier for players to find uh, fabric mods. Uh, the content currently includes searching, so you've got a search bar as you can see here, you can search something like carpet, or origins, or whatever you want, to a degree of course. Um, other than that, you've got selection of categories, which you can see here, there's also a toggle of either where you want it presented. Um, so for example, if I wanted only food mods, I can see only those. Technology, mobs, wars and resources, you can select multiple of course, which I actually wasn't sure if that would be the case. Um, what else we got? M Creator, we've got Twitch integration, uh, mods that are like other mods, so it doesn't mean it's a thermal expansion add-on, it just means it's like that mod, because obviously it's a fabric equivalent, and obviously it's, um, so yeah. You can do that, um, otherwise there's a table or list view if you want, so you can see a peer table view, you can swap that out for this type of view instead. So you can see the date, uh, the current supported version, how many downloads it's got, what categories it fits into, author, um, a description of what it's about and what it's called. You can obviously select which you want it to uh, pretty much base the uh, results on. So if you want it to be that you see the highest downloads, you can do that. If you want to see the latest version, so 117. Um, if you want to see the date something was updated in order, um, or alphabetically, then you can do that. Or I guess alphabetically by author, then you can do that. But... Uh, yeah, so that's an option. Uh, we go back. Uh, there's also the GitHub gist, which I think is what the original sort of thing was, of listings. Um, which, I'm not going to go into that, but it was sort of like the original sort of, I think, like maybe planning thing before the website became a thing. I'm not sure. I have seen it before, but I just forget. Uh, you obviously got a bunch of other links to other sources, such as Coffee, Patreon, uh, GitHub, as well as the Discord, if you want to, I guess, communicate in there. Um, there's an About page, of course, which we've got here, which obviously says uh, pretty much the goal of it, which is a free, searchable list of fabric mods listed on CurseForge, does not support or host, uh, does not host or redistribute any mod, mod files, it pretty much just directs you to websites that have the downloads. Um, or mod listings, link back to the CurseForge page. The purpose of the website is to help users find fabric mods, regardless of where they are located. And obviously there's the um, financial sources, GitHub and Discord, and then obviously all the other um, copyright stuff. Uh, other than that, uh, you can change the theme to whatever colour you want. So, there's that. And it just sort of cycles through a bunch of different options. Uh, other than that, um, obviously the about page is there, so there's a quote. Uh, there's also a quote that I got from uh, the creator themselves, which uh, is from here, so I asked and that of what other sources of mods could there be, because it currently supports CurseForge, so uh, will it support things like GitHub or ModRinth, for example, in the future, and obviously that was their answer. So, yeah, so pretty much CurseForge only at the moment, um, the site will be intended to be automated for any of these things that it finds, so if it finds any sources of mods it'll be automated, whether it finds them on whichever source, or so. Um, and other than that, there may be a way to submit stuff. Um, so for ModRinth, maybe it could still be automated, like with CurseForge, where it's just following the fabric tag, I'm pretty sure. So any of those times that you see the fabric category tag, I assume is what it's going off of. Um, and then when it comes to GitHub, of course, it, I assume maybe depends, where you'd have to maybe submit. Um, or maybe just find some way that 
all of them can relate to being searchable there. But I assume for GitHub it might be just um, submissions, but for Modrinth and Curse Forge, if there is like some specific thing it can um, tag it with, then it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, so that quote is there as well. Um, otherwise, obviously on the FTP page, uh, the wiki page, just got the typical sort of links to things, and obviously some images showcasing what it can do. But yeah, uh, pretty much just a cool little website for Fabric users that want to know when they're how to find certain things. Um, certain ones like Legacy Fabric, the API is here, but uh, some like surely enough items are not, because either they don't exist anymore, which I forget, or it's an alpha, so it's hard to find them. Um, I don't know if there's any of the mods in alpha that I could search. I'm just going to go to Curse Forge Surely Enough Items here, just to check. Because I think it still exists. Um, or was it only the GitHub? It might only be the GitHub now, which I redirected for Legacy Fabric, so that's why. Because I know that it did disappear, so that's a bummer for 189 there. Um, but I've still got a legacy of every mod pack, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I assume that finding things should be a lot easier. Should be a problem. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a website to make it easier to find things related to fabric. Um, that's primarily on Curse Forge at the moment. Again, other things will be supported. What extent things will go to, I'm not sure. I don't know if they have a roadmap somewhere. Um, other than obviously, you know, asking what certain things could come in the future based on what my, um, suggestion or question was. But, uh, yeah, if you're struggling to find something, or you want to find something new and make it easier instead of what Curse Forward presents, because it may, um, may be that you struggle to find stuff because Forge and Rift and other stuff sort of gets in between, then, um, yeah, you can now find... Um, a bunch of stuff. Well, obviously you could via this way, but if you want to make it where you don't want to specify specifically the version or the popularity or the search or just browse through, you can this way and just search for whatever you want to whichever origins add-ons or um, I don't know something else. Let's see. Um, what world gem mods exist or whatever. So yeah, you've got more ways to define searches for fabric specific content you're looking for rather than a site that has a combination of different mod loaders and mods and um, other types of filter options. So yeah, seemed interesting to cover um, and thought it would be helpful to some people besides the fact that it's just um, cool to have um, Especially in contrast to my own um, sort of forum threads, where I post pretty much updates and that constantly. Um, and some that happen to appear on Modrinth or GitHub, where some of them you might not even be able to find. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, it just seemed interesting. Just like covering Modrinth and other types of, you know, things in between the occasional um, overview and uh, let's play and stuff. Just seems interesting. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.